The amount of glass used in the manufacture of automobiles today is more than many people realize, and it's growing. Over the past several years, we've announced collaborations, partnerships, and initiatives with automobile manufacturers such as Ford and BMW. More recently, we've announced new collaborations and initiatives with supply chain leaders such as Visteon, BOE, LGE, and Via Optronics. We're also adding manufacturing capacity for our innovations, corning autograde, Gorilla Glass, and cold form technology. And they support up to a $1 billion pipeline of business. With me today is Mike Kunigonis, Vice President and General Manager of Corning's Automotive Glass Solutions business. Hi, Mike. Hey, Ann. How are you doing today? Good. So you've been in the news a lot lately, but before we get into that, can you tell me about this surge in demand and how it really created the business that you're running today? Yeah, absolutely. It's all about tactical glass, and uh, that's something Corning knows a lot about. So actually, I see you've got your phone there because it really starts with that phone. You spend a lot of time with that? It's with me 24 seven. It's my alarm, my schedule, email, connection with family. I even put recipes on it and prop it up in the kitchen. Excellent. So that, that experience uh, that you're having with your phone, uh, the auto OEM companies, the auto manufacturers, they've picked up on this. And so they want to be able to replicate what you're doing outside the car, inside the car, all right? So uh, there's a lot of trends that are hitting them today at a macro level. Uh, we kind of refer to this, as, and the industry refers to it as case. Uh, what, they're, what the auto engineers are dealing with is these challenges is more connectivity in the car. Uh, there's more autonomous systems that they have to deal with. Uh, business models like shared mobility are changing, and there's more electrification in cars. So C-A-S-E, case. What we're really happy to know is that tactical glass as a material uh, can actually help OEM solve many of the challenges that the CASE acronym is describing. What we do is we're translating CASE for us in Corning uh, into three mores. More glass, more form, and more function. That's a great concept. But can you tell me how it really works? Like what have been the challenges and how have innovations helped you guys get on the other side of that? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna start with your phone again. So uh, this phone here, it's got Gorilla Glass on it. This is an invention of ours from more than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, We've successfully improved this glass, solving for a very specific use case, uh, drop. Right? We drop our phones, right? We are not dropping the dashboards where our displays are inside cars. There's a very different use case inside the car. And so this is the first area that we want to attack with more glass. Uh, what you have is a use case called HIT or head form impact test. Basically, this is where we're doing is we're taking a head form, it's a safety test, and we're smashing it into that display. And the idea is the glass does not break. Actually, what we have here in front of you is a head form, all right? This is the head form that we are smashing into displays. You wanna pick that up? Wow, that's heavier than I thought. Pretty heavy. All right, and we're, we're taking that and putting into a, a display module like this, and you're basically dropping it from about two meters, as tall as I am. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty violent event uh, for the display. And there's a lot of rules and regulations. We've read through all those. We wanted to make sure we really understood the test. And so what we've done is we've invented a new glass, our new auto grade Gorilla Glass. And what this particular product can do is for this head form impact test, is it can pass that test greater than 99% of the time. As you can see here in this module, this has gone through a head form impact test where this head form has hit this glass. Uh, and as you can see, the glass is intact in the, in the front. Yep. We've actually had a display breakage here, a little bit, a little uh, deformation of the frame itself. But this is a passage, and this is with our auto grade Gorilla Glass. Great. Okay, so auto grade Gorilla Glass addresses several issues, including regulatory compliance for these more interactive displays. Now, you mentioned form. What about form? And so what I've got here is a, a piece of our auto grade Gorilla Glass that I just talked to you about. And uh, what you can see here is that if you actually push down, I want you to push down on that, you can see that you can actually form the glass yourself, right? Uh, so you are, what we're doing is called, we would call that cold forming, right? And what cold forming can do is it can dramatically improve the performance of bringing shape into the market and do it at a much lower cost point. Uh, what we do is we take our auto grade grill glass and we have a variant of that uh, that can go through the cold forming uh, process and be able to uh, withstand this bending uh, stress here uh, for the lifetime of the vehicle. So we have a special auto grade 3D glass to be able to do that. 
Now what we've got here on the table here is actually a module that's been cold formed. Uh, it's actually the first cold form module that we introduced into the market. It's with our partners at GAC in China uh, on the Aeon vehicle. Mm -hmm. And what you can see here is it's been cold formed into what's called a V shape. All right, so we basically bent the glass in the middle. Right? We've got two displays on each side. Creates that immersive experience around the driver that those designers are looking for. Uh, been very, very popular vehicle. Uh, strong pull after it was introduced in September of 2019. Uh, it's actually the largest shape part on the market, again, by cold form. It's the first V-shape part that's on the market, and it's the largest and only shape part that's on the market that has an AR uh, coating on top of it. Pretty amazing. Very nice. So you mentioned three things. What's the third? More function. Thanks right. for reminding me. So uh, tactical glass. Wonderful, wonderful material. That's why we both work at Corning. Mm -hmm. right? It's durable. That's why we have Gorilla Glass. It's a transparent material. It's formable. It's a waveguide. Mm -hmm. And you can play around with the surface of the glass to change that morphology and change how the optics and light moves through the glass. This is actually really important in uh, the automotive space. It's important because those displays that are inside cars are all subjected to the ambient light or sun outside the car that's shining inside the car. And you wanna be able to protect those displays, you wanna manage that light, so the critical important information on the display gets to the driver, so they can drive the car, change the radio station, put the AC on, so on and so forth. I've got an example of us doing that here. And so here we've got a piece of glass, and it looks like it's got a hole in it, right? Yep. This right here, uh, what we've done is we've placed a, our, our latest generation of anti-reflective coating on top of the glass. And what that does is it helps manage the reflections of the ambient light so that it moves away from your eyes and that critical important information gets to you as the driver. So this is just one example of a, of a technical glass innovation that's creating function um, inside the car uh, with glass. And there's many others that we're talking to automobile uh, manufacturers about today to be able to help overcome those challenges, those case challenges that I talked to you about earlier today. Mm -hmm. Well, that's super. So how do you think about this in terms of a business? Corning's been in auto for over a hundred years. We started with uh, headlines, right? Uh, the last 40 years, we've been really focused on emission controls uh, with our CET business, uh, and most recently with uh, gas particulate filters. This third chapter for Corning's history inside auto is all about tectone glass. Um, let me kind of give you some numbers here. Uh, we right now have been awarded just for auto interiors, hundreds of millions of dollars of business. Uh, we're pursuing over a billion dollars of business uh, for the interior space. So there's a tremendous amount of opportunity for us here. Uh, so much so that we've had to invest uh, to catch the opportunity. And we have invested in China, in Hefei, China. Uh, we're just late last year, we opened up our first factory in AGS. Um, a large cover part, um, interior cover part glass factory, uh, the first of its kind uh, out there in the market. Uh, we've ramp we're ramping up uh, today with SOPs and servicing the market. Now, what's really exciting is you step back, historically Corning has had about $15 of revenue per car uh, servicing the market through our CET business. Now we're growing that with our gas particulate filter business and taking that $15 growing to $45. When you take into account what AGS is now doing in the auto interior space, we add about another $25 to $30 for our auto interior business. Mm -hmm. And then from the function standpoint, with all the new tactile and glass innovations that we're working on for future autonomous systems and more connectivity inside cars, we think there's up to $100 of opportunity inside cars uh, that's available to us. That's a seven-fold increase for Corning. And with that seven-fold increase, $100 per car, we feel very confident that we're actually gonna be able to double the size of our auto business by 2023. Wow, that's great. This is really exciting, Mike, and I appreciate you taking the time today to tell us about this opportunity. My pleasure. And for those of you that are interested in finding more about our Autoglass Solutions business, you can check it out at www.corning.com. Thank you.